thank you so much for taking time out of your day to chat with us. Uh, to start, could you each introduce us to your characters and what drew you to this project? Lindsay, do you want to start? Sure. Um, I think uh, having an honest depiction of a, of a single mom was very intriguing and also working with Josh again after our long history of friendship and, and working together. Um, definitely, I knew that our number one would be a good person and game for anything. And also being a part of, of a franchise that was so beloved. Well, I think that uh, I enjoyed being in the role again one more time with these new people, which was refreshing and uh, kind of inspiring to me. So I had thoroughly enjoyed, I thought it was a vacation. It was like, so... Uh, I had fun. It was really wonderful, Jeremy. Um, I had fun filming because they, they were just, it was just so fun because everyone was so welcoming and the dogs were so obedient and Matthew is just like me. Like Matthew is fun and loving and he loves dogs. It's just like me. So it was kind of easy getting into Matthew as a character, but to like actually be him and staying true to the character and keeping the energy of the film actually like kind of got me into the character. And then, um, yeah, I had fun with them. Lindsay, your character has this beautiful arc throughout the first season where she's coming to terms with her father's passing and also honoring his legacy. How did you prepare to tackle that journey? Well, I think what was really exciting, I, I mean, less so than like how to prepare for it. I think it's really just you're, you're tackling these scripts as they come. Um, you know, that's the way TV works is you get, you know, you're just a few days to prep because you're shooting the last episode. Um, but what was really exciting was the fact that Laura, I really feel like bound herself through this investigation. You know, I think Laura's journey and Scott's journey are very parallel. You know, he's sort of just in this ambition driven, I have to be a good marshal and, and Hooch totally train wrecks that whole vision. And then the investigation for Laura, she's like, I just, I'm a single mom, I'm exhausted. I'm trying to just like survive. I've got animals crawling off the walls and I don't like, I can't like, I don't have time to pick up all the toys and do all the laundry. And then now I'm all of a sudden, I, I've got to figure out what happened. My dad left all these boxes, there's all these cases, there's a mystery here, I have to do this. And then that sort of derails in a great, interesting way, her purpose. Um, so it was really just like, as that storyline continued through the season, it was like a little, a little gem and a little gift for me to, to experience through Laura. And Jeremy, fans will recognize you for your breakout role in Modern Family. What did you learn on that set that you brought over to Turner and Hooch? Um, because I I brought I brought the whole fact of me, kind of. But what it is is basically um, on Modern Family, Joe was a very dull, very troublemaker, like duh kid, and then um. And then Matthew's like the complete opposite. He's like a fun, energetic kid who loves sloppy joes and loves playing um, and loves playing in the mud, stuff like that. And um, so I had to kind of transition from one thing to another, and that was really hard. But the 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 part that made it easy is that. The part that makes it easy is that um, because I am already kind of Matthew. I am uh, because I'm already kind of like Matthew. I'm a dog lover. I love running and playing and stuff. So I didn't really take I didn't really take anything from that, but it's still family. Reginald, yeah. you talked about this a little bit already, but you, you were a part of the original Turner and Hooch. What has it meant to you to get to step back into David's shoes and introduce this beloved franchise and character to a new generation? That is a it's <clears throat> unique experience, I tell you, to work with a whole bunch of new characters that are that, that are in the same thing you did years ago was really wonderful. And they all handled themselves extremely well. I felt like I had to catch up because they were all so together. 
you know, and I enjoyed working with each and every one of them, especially Lindsay and, you know, Jeremy, they are really cool people. And uh, yeah. I am so thankful to have been a part of the old cast, but I'm ecstatic to be a part of the new cast. So keep on going. What do you all hope audiences take away? I hope that they take away the love for these dogs. I think these dogs are very special. And I think the show is going to be a hit because of that, you know, and I, uh, I, 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 I just know it. I, I, I'm not wrong. I know it's going to be a huge hit. So. I, I hope that um, I, I, well, I don't hope, I know that families are going to be able to watch it together. I think the cool thing about the show that so many people are craving is a connection with their kids. It's a show that they can watch together that you're as a parent, we're so like, I don't want to watch another episode of Peppa Pig. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I want to be like, I want to see some action. I want to see great relationships and storylines. And I want my kids to be genuinely excited about the dog slobbering and watching Matthew's volcano project get destroyed. And then that was awesome. You know, like, so that both can be happy and that the whole family can watch together. I think that's really the heart of this show. Amen. There's a is there's an award is there a Emmy award for a dog? I think <laughs> win. I think Hooch would get it like twenty three times. Yeah, yeah. So and final question for you all. Speaking of Hooch, do you have a favorite either on camera moment or an offset moment with Hooch? Well, my on camera moment, my favorite was watching Jeremy deal with the dogs and how <laughs> they you know he had to handle them because the dog was bigger than him <laughs> and he had to you know, maneuver himself to, to get to work with these dogs. And it was wonderful watching him do that. It was wonderful watching that, those scenes with the dog and, and Jeremy. So that's my thing, so. My thing is probably, I like working with all the animals off camera, like like when we're not filming, I like just stepping out of my mark and go and go looking at the animals and stuff. It's, it's really fun doing that and playing with them and, and trying to like hugging them and stuff. It's really fun just going um just going into just going and looking at the animals and playing with them and yeah, that's probably my favorite off camera. And then my on camera was probably when he destroyed my science project and it literally looked like Hooch was a giant like volcano monster. She just ripped up the entire like world or whatever. <laughs> It's not just Hooch too. The great thing about Laura and Matthew's world is all the other animals. So we've got parrots, mm -hmm. we've got the, the veterinarian office with all the other animals, and we have Blob with the cat, which I don't even know is in the first three episodes. But I've literally only seen that cat walk twice. He just yeah. sits there and yeah. just and just like barely moves like an inch. I think the world is about to fall in love with Blob as well. So he's really the, uh, the breakthrough performer of the season. <laughs>